chances are that if you found this video, you're thinking about custom building your house for the first time. And before you start, before you even go and hire somebody, I'll give you the three questions you need to answer for you to have the right first step. These are three questions that I like to name the three hows that you need for your dream house. These are very basic questions, but people skip them, people delay these questions, and only you can answer this. So first, how much money is your house gonna cost, how it's gonna look like, and how much time it's gonna take to build it. These three questions run parallel. You need to answer and have an idea of what you will be getting into before you start. Even if it's a blurry idea, it works. This video will be focused on the first question, how much money your house is gonna cost because budgeting for a custom project is very different than budgeting for anything else. And most people do the same process when they are gonna custom build their house than when they are buying an existing property. So I'll start, I'll start by explaining a little bit on where is the mistake. The mistake is that you don't leave a safety margin. When you're buying an existing property, you look at your bank account and then you go to the bank, trying to get a loan by the most amount of money that you can and then go to find the property that's closest to that budget, to that money that the bank is giving you. If you run into a property with that same budget, you probably have a few other expenses like legal fees and some taxes, but you know where the big chunk of money is going. When you're buying, when you're, when you're building a custom house, you have to do the total opposite. For this video, I'll work with percentages. So you can apply these percentages to your own budget. But leave an initial safety margin in between the 20 and 50%. And let me explain where I'm going with this. When you hire an architect, the first question the architect will ask you is how much money you have for the project. And this is a very basic question that should be brought up in the first meeting because the money is like the blank canvas that the architect has to draw and to design the project. If you say, let's think about a $100,000 house. If you say, I have $80,000, remember that the architect will try its best to get to that target, but probably won't be 100% accurate, probably will be 82,000, 84,000. Let's say it gets to 85,000, which is the original 15% margin that you wanted to keep. At this moment, you're still fine because from that 15%, you'll get to the 100, easy peasy. Remember that the bottom line of this exercise is do not overspend. Do not go over the initial budget. And in this type of project, you have unforeseen, both positive and negative, and then you have new ideas that you wanna add during the project's construction. So positive unforeseen that could happen at the design stage would be, let's add an extra room, let's add a deck, Negative unforeseen could be, oh, the prices of the materials went up or we don't have this tile available so we need to buy this other tile available which is 15, 20% more. And as, as I mentioned, you will be pushed to the 100%. But then during construction, you will have, oh, there are some rainy days that we didn't foresee or we have some I don't know we had we had a, a a delay on the materials or you know this type of construction problems that always arise so 
keep that in mind before you go to your 100%. Keep that, keep it in, your, in the back of your head that nothing is perfect and you need to keep a safety margin. I hope you like this video. Let me know if you want to know more about this topic. All the questions will go into the comment section and let me know if you agree or disagree. I can expand this topic. We can talk about different type of projects. We can talk about different unforeseen. We could talk about what we could do in a situation that could be not favor favorable for you, favorable for you. And yeah, that's what I got for you. Thanks for watching. See you the next time. Bye-bye.